Um, so by looking at a problem like this, what we're going to have to do is now we know that since we have a quotient, we can now break this up, right? Okay. So let's go and break this up into the fourth root of 6 divided by the fourth root of 5x. Okay. Now we break this up and now we say, all right, can we simplify this at all? Well, yeah, can I write 6 to the fourth power of anything? No. Can I write 5 to the fourth power of anything? No. Can I write x to the fourth power? Well, you know, unless you're getting your fraction. So, no, we're kind of like stuck right now. What else can we do to simplify? Well, one thing I want you guys to remember is let's say I had a problem like this. Do you guys remember, what if I was taking 3 divided by the square root of 2? What was one thing I had to do to this problem to make it farther simplified? Yes, Ashley? Uh, multiply top and bottom by the right, we had to rationalize the denominator, right? So you multiply by the square root of 2 over 2. So guess what? We're going to have to do that same thing for a problem like this. But here's, where, here's the little stipulation that you guys are really, really going to have to listen to to understand. The reason why we multiplied by the same term this is to the square root, right? So when I multiply a number by itself, I get that number. When I multiply a number by itself, I get that number squared. So then what this becomes is 3 radical 2 over 2 square root of 2 squared, right? Well, we don't need to write the 2, but I guess we could. So what you guys understand is the square root of 2 squared, those are going to mark each other out, right? So if I just say, oh, if I just multiply this by the fourth root, because here's where students make the mistake, right? Then I'm now going to get, we know this is the product rule, so I'll have the fourth root of 30x divided by the fourth root of 5 squared x squared. Does 5 squared, does the fourth root of 5 squared cancel out or undo each other? No. Does the fourth root of x squared undo each other? No. So what power do I need to get this to be? Four. four. I need to get them to be the fourth power. So rather than multiplying it just by 5x, do you guys have maybe another number? Or what could I raise 5x to a power of that would get me to the fourth? X squared. Yes? No? X squared. Um, 5 squared, x squared. Well, if I did 5 squared and x squared, then 5 times 5 squared is 5 cubed. x times x squared is going to be x cubed. I said cubed not so now you want to cube them, OK? So we could do 5 cubed, <laughs> x cubed. <laughs> it's OK. I know exactly what you're thinking, though. We're good. So what you guys need to understand is exactly what Noah was saying is correct. We need to not just multiply by the same. When you're dealing with square roots, ladies and gentlemen, and we're doing an introductory understanding of simplifying by rationally as a denominator, that works. But I need you guys to understand why we multiplied by the same number, because then we can get that number to a power of 2, which undoes the square root. Now we're dealing with powers and roots that are above 2. So we need to make sure that if we're going to try to simplify them, we need to make sure we get our power inside of our radical to be the same number as our root. So therefore, if I multiply 5 cubed and x cubed on the top and on the bottom, I now have the fourth root of 5 to the fourth and x to the fourth. Then I have 6 times the fifth root, 5 to the third root, and then x to the, x to the third root. Anybody have any questions on this so far, what I did? Does everybody see why I'm multiplying by x to the third, 5 to the third, and not x times y? Six. All right. So now we see simplify. So 5 cubed, so 5 times 5 is 25, times 3 is 125, times 6 would be 750. So I have the fourth root of 750 x cubed, then what happens with the fourth root of 5 to the fourth and x to the fourth? Do, so do we have a root now in our denominator? No, so it's simplified. And then we look at it, we, let's just double check. Can we write x cubed as raised to our fourth power evenly? No. Can we write the fourth root of 750? 
No. Can we simplify that, though, at all? Is there any fourth root, some numbers that we can divide into there to simplify it? So you might want to take the fourth root, some problems, and I don't know, when looking at my uh, solution that I wrote for the problem, no, nope, that's going to be your simplified answer. OK, yes? OK, so when we multiply by the fourth root times 2, when you get the consideration I had, No, because, all right, so here I had x, right? I didn't multiply by x because x times x gives me x squared. The fourth, you can't take the fourth root of x squared. You have to, to, to undo your fourth root, you've got to get it to x to the fourth. That's why I multiplied by x cubed. Because x times x cubed gives me x to the fourth. I can now take the fourth root of x to the fourth. Whatever you multiply in your denominator, you have to multiply in your numerator. That's why I multiply by x cubed in the top and the bottom. I know. I mean, you just take whatever number fits. Yeah, it's going to change. It's going to. Yes. I'm rationalizing the denominator. So yes, I'm, this is going to be your arbitrary value. It's going to change for every problem. Okay. Any other generic questions on that?